This summer, during our Farms to Fast Lane special, I highlighted a couple businesses in the heart of Lordstown and the benefit they got from being near the GM plant. Well, today I went back to see if there would be an impact from the third shift being eliminated. The headline outside Nice's Cafe screams of over a thousand layoffs at GM Lordstown. Inside, it's a major topic of conversation, just two miles from the assembly plant. We do know a lot of people that work there that come in here and talk about it. And yes, we've heard some very, very upset people. Nisa's opened two years ago and quickly realized how important carryout sales were since the workers get only 20 minute lunches. The eatery did 68 grand in those sales last year, but eliminating the third shift will have minimal impact because the cafe is only open from 8 a.m. until 2. The third shift ends before it opens for breakfast and starts after it closed following lunch. It doesn't really affect our business very much. Our hours aren't really conducive to the midnight shift. We do cater more to the day shift and the afternoon shift here. Down the street at Ross's Eatery and Pub, the story is different. Earl Ross told me he remembers cutting a staff when GM cut production to just one shift in the early 2000s. He's enjoyed the boost of three full production shifts at GM and expanding his payroll to 25. But it's too early to know exactly what impact the change will have starting in late January. Other impacts could be felt too at the suppliers along the strip in Lordstown. But Nieces is concerned. The story may get bigger if cruise sales don't improve soon. Well, yeah, I think if they'll take it this far, who knows how far they'll take it. And the production change at Lordstown starts January 24th.